all this amazing talent traveling outside of Georgia. And you get to see Georgia, which is a very strong region yeah. in, um, just in the global Smash scene. Right. Really come through and defend defend the house. All right, well, let's good, 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 get it. Okay, Game one. Oh, Whoa. damn. Hold on now, bro. That was about 10 seconds. I told you, you want to see this match on stream. That was OD. I don't think, listen, I, I barely even got to see Sonic on screen. How about that? Oh, man. There's still Jeez. zero next to Fatality. Oh, man. Another one? Okay, okay. Got some damage on the board here. Okay, there's the up throw into the up air. Tally landing with the Falcon dive. Oh, Falcon kick, my bad. Oopsie. If I'm Fatality now, I'm the camper. All right? How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sheesh, he is handling him. Yeah, I think, I think Fatality, the offense is working out, so Fatality's like, you know what? Oh, man, that backer almost was enough here. This is pure domination from Fatality at the moment. He is definitely feeling it. Okay, finally, offstage situation here for Wrath. Wrath not pulling the trigger on the edge guard. Gonna wait a little bit more, drop the spring, okay. Going for more for this ledge trap, getting a bunch of damage from it. Gets the roll, right back out, rinse and repeat. Okay, now Fatality finally back on stage, but the spin charge into the forward air, carrying Fatality all the way from center stage and confirming into that forward air offstage. All right. Oh, yeah, big punish. Whenever Sonic hits a homing attack and he hits the ground, there's a ton of lag that you're able to take advantage of. Oof. Trying to go for the dare. I like that big tag. Play. Subscribe. This man gets it. Yeah. You got to throw the shill out. Of course, man. So this is only my second job, all right? My main one, catch me on YouTube. I see you, Fatality. Homing attack. Oh, no. What is going on, though? This no big jump. lead that he had being wiped out. Good Lord. Oh. Air, yeah. I mean, is, is that enough? Wow. It is enough for the stock there. And what a turnaround from Wrath. Vitaly started this game with a zero to death. Yeah, and then he didn't camp. And foolish and decision. And then he did not. Quite foolish. You must camp the Sonic. If you have the lead. If, if you have the lead. Right now, Wrath unleashing in a major way. Yeah, I mean, Wrath hasn't gotten hit for quite some time. Already racking up 41 damage here. If you're Wrath, this, this game one is looking great for you. Okay, there's the dash attack, that burst option. Sonic fast in many ways. And of course, that dash attack kind of propelling him forward alongside the uh, fastest run speed in the game. Without buffs, of course. Okay, springing back to the ledge here. Oh wow! Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, try to get the platform tech chase, but Fatality jumping away, going deep for the grab here. The forward throw, it's still not enough. Fatality needs one more hit. Oh, and you're not even able to make it back from the stage spike. Wrath with a two-stock finish after getting zero to death in the first 10 seconds he, of that game. He got absolutely eviscerated and then said, you know what, that's cool, bro. And he didn't think twice about it after that fatality. Barely even touched him. That's got to hurt. Yeah, and if you're fatality, I mean, you ran at him. You got the first stock in 10 seconds. I don't blame him for being like, well, let me just keep running at him. Yeah, exactly. But... I think at a certain point you got to establish, be like, okay, well, it's okay I'm not to getting break. the openings. Yeah, exactly. So you you take, take a little break and fade back a little bit more in neutral and do you a lot of favors. But you know, when you're up there on the stage and you're feeling yourself, sometimes you just keep holding W. I get it, man. It happens to everybody. And Wrath, knowing that, took huge advantage of that. And honestly, it couldn't even. Vitaly feels like couldn't get the stock on that second one, right? And I mean, Sonic is such a light character, so living to 170, that's, that's pretty crazy. And that's really big, too, because like you get a such a huge advantage like that at the start. You want to be able to close that thing out. Because um, if you're able to get that game one on Wrath, you're in a much better position. Now, a true uphill battle begins, Charles, because I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to see another damn near zero to death. 
Yeah, I don't know if Rat's gonna let that happen twice. I mean, it is, it is Falcon, it is Fatality. It's what he's known for. But we'll see. See if Fatality can recreate the magic that was I'm gonna game give you one, an uncomfortable talk. truth, Charles. Oh no. This ain't what? the same Fatality, bro. He's not as invested in the comp competitive space as he used to be. As, as being one of the best. Of course, he's still good, especially he's still godlike and gifted. He's got other priorities now. You know what I'm saying? We lost another one to he, content. He's in his mogul phase, bro. Dang, we lost another one to content, we man. We did, man. He ain't got that same hunger because he's already fed. I get it, Fatality. I get it, man. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. But every now and then, sometimes, Chuck, the beast is. can still be unleashed. <laughs> Damn, I wanted him to get a kill when I said Yeah, that. I mean, maybe the forward smash was pointed in the right direction. Or the up smash was pointed in the right direction, you know. But there were options. It happens. It happens sometimes. There were options. Okay, there's the forward air offstage situation once again. That's where Wrath gets a lot of the stalks here. Or you just rack up so much damage where eventually the spin charge into the forward air will get the KO no matter where you're at. A little bit of staled out here. Tries oh. to get the spring. Oh, does connect the spring. One more rep. Do, okay, yeah. the back air sinking low and committing is Wrath off stage. Look at this, just going on a tear. My goodness. Your fatality. It is not looking too good. This game two already getting out of hand. Center platform. Ooh, okay. Sets up the offstage situation. Dips too low on the homing attack. All right. A little tricky edge guard there from Fatality. Okay, offstage. Ooh, Raptor boost back to the ledge here. You don't see that too often. Great mix up there. After the uh, spin charge or spin dash, the Sonic player can go right into a homing attack if they feel like you're going to try to drop shield and chase him down. Great mix. Ooh, man. Big hits coming through for Wrath. Yeesh. Get that shield grab. Great positioning. Set up for Wrath here. Tries to drop the spring. Not going to connect. Still going to hold this center stage into the fair drag down. Tries to get a backer, but Fatality going to disengage. I mean, Fatality, if, you know, trying to, I don't know. It's, it's a lot to ask to keep this stock alive right now where Sonic is chilling at a cool 0%. We'll make it 11, 21. But still, you got a deficit like this. It's very rough. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough ask. And he knows it, too. Fade okay. back, able to avoid the spring. He's back to the stage with the neutral air dodge. Does end up working out. You're sitting at 181%. You definitely are not lacking any rage here. Poke out the jabs. There's the Falcon dive, that upbeat. Such a huge scoop on that grab there. Decently fast. Decently fast. Not the quickest, but gets the job done, now, especially out of shield. Okay, here's some jabs. Any kind of confirm into a knee. Even maybe a raw up smash could do the trick if you're fatality. Directional air dodge. And you still be able to make it back to the ledge unless Wrath is going to go ahead and cut off the path to the ledge there with the back air. And this is now the second time Wrath has done that. I would say all things considered, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah, if you're Fatality, I mean, you just need this stock here, which is very doable. Oh. There's a down tilt. It oh, is oh, enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wrath even went for the jump to try and cancel the momentum there. Absolutely. Man, that was weird, too, because that was it felt like the sour hit, but I'm not too sure how strong the sour hit is in general for Falcon. I guess strong enough to take that Sonic stock. Okay, the kicks. All right, starting to build it up now. I feel like this is doable for Vitality, man. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm really just kind of looking how this thing has unfolded, and one thing Vitality's done a good job is at the very least he's maximizing how much life he's getting off of these stocks. Now both oh. of them down to the final one. Having to resort to the air dodge through the spin dash. Okay, getting some trades here and there. See if Fatality can get a hit that can really put him in a state where he can just take full advantage of Sonic here, but Wrath really not giving him the opportunity. Two minute mark officially. Feels like it's been longer, Chuck. Okay, he's gonna cancel right in Fatality's face. No punish, I'll try to drop the knee on him. But here's the back air, offstage situation. Navigating around the spring, up, over. Dipping through all the threats here. Spin dash god right now. 
Oh, wow, the turnaround up smash. There you have it, Fatality fighting through what almost seemed like certain defeat after that first stock to yeah. take care of business. Kudos to him. Ties it up. That up smash has got the scoops on it for sure. You saw Fatality fading back into that turnaround like you mentioned. The up smash going to get the job done. Sonic is extremely light. You're able to scoop Sonic around that 80% mark. It is going to be curtains for the stock. Fatality is taking full advantage of it. Now we're going to transition into game number three. I don't imagine we're going to see any character swaps, but we might see a change in scenery. No, we're not. All right. We're running it back with the Fragments of Sorrow here. Okay. Going to get them there. A little bit of damage here. Homing attack with punish here. Both players kind of chipping away. Nothing too big. Wow, trying to armor through with the Raptor boost. Not going to work out. Maybe Fatality can win, man. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's a top eight qualifier. That kind of brings, that can bring out the best of you, man. Or it can bring out the worst. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it on it. Yeah, I've seen it on both sides, guys. <laughs> you never quite know. But here we go. The battle continues. Fatality. Tend to go hit for hit right now with Wrath. Yeah, in this situation, if you're trading back and forth damage like this, it is in the favor of Falcon. Just because he is a bit heavier. Has that rage. You're building up the rage form as well. Fading back with these stomps. Being very careful. Fatality slowing things down. Yep. Definitely playing at a very different pace from game number one. Where he was able to open up the game with that zero to death. But Wrath was still able to win that game. I think it's, you know, you count on the fact, too, like Raph not going to be quite as nonchalant, which really did give Fatality that crazy opening for that crazy first stock of game one. Probably not going to be the case. To, oh, smash. Sending him out there. And now he's going immediately goes to work. Okay, whips the grab, but going to get another opportunity because Fatality will the trigger on that up be a little too quick. Okay, utilizing these forward tilts, such a great meaty option. Can even get the KO, get the stock at the later percents. Try to get the dash grab on yep. that whiff punish, that up air, falling up air. So, so little lag when he oh, ground, but nice. the Falcon kick. He's going to take that first stock yep. off the Slide through, no issues at all, 43% deficit. Man, and right now Wrath is reacting to these normal get up, get ups. Very on point here. Oh, shredding through. Okay, the spring, just get me out. Oh, man, many backflips. Oh. oh, he was reaching for that. Oh, the plank. Oh, nice. Fatality doing He is smothering Wrath right now. Oh, up and over the Falcon kick. That spin dash, so much utility. Tries to get the down air, tries to get the dunk. Wrath not going to connect here. Okay, not great not punish. Not quite, not quite. Air dodge, not going to get swept with the down tilt. With the tricky movement coming out from Vitality. The back air wow. does connect, and Vitality with this lead. Okay, but for how long? You got the lead, but you got to put some damage on this stock for it to count. Vitality looking kind of based right now, Chuck. Oh, yeah, Fatality's doing a wonderful job right now. Oh, just going to catch the jump. Still alive, though, tanking it out with the Falcon, but it's still not enough trying to defend himself with that knee. Not going to work out. Wrath just going to whiff punish with the forward air. Good hey, look Lord. at these frame traps. Already at 69%. Wow. Yeah, this snare comboing into essentially whatever Wrath needs is so important. The damage output really starting to add up here. Well, we got plenty of time on the clock. I mean, yeah. if Fatality could just keep the stock intact, there, there is still a chance. Damn, did I commentate or curse him, Chuck? Was that me? Did I end that game? That might have been you. I felt like I delivered that force match. <laughs> All right. 
Great call out coming up from Wrath. The Two dash one. back. Yep. Into the forward smash. Forward smash for Sonic. One of the best forward smashes in the business. Mm -hmm. Huge hitbox. You got the lean back as well. <laughs> so, you seem really invested in this match. How could you not be? You got two OGs of Georgia's Georgia royalty right now, folks. This is, yeah, this is, again, we talked about it. This is a classic Georgia face-off here. And, man, it, it's pretty wild because I just remember watching Wrath compete in Smash 4, just like Cola. They were both so young. So Now watch them grow up. Veterans of the scene. Strongest players to do it in Georgia as well, so. Oh, oh okay, okay. Let him touch the ground, man. Jeez. You got those Sonic conversions. I'm saying. Oh, oh what? Fist. All right, all that aggression just to end up on the wrong side of a stock. Yeah, just like that, Fatality. When did Fatality rack that damage up? That's my question. <laughs> Quick back air. Going to seal the deal here. Oh, get the air dodge, but you didn't get the scoop on that second. Oh, oh. Okay, you can... Off of the uh, hit one of up smash. I've never seen that. <laughs> More up airs. Yeah, rising up are going to be such a powerful tool here for Falcon. Might be going game five. There's an actual good chance. I wouldn't be mad at it. Okay. The gamer. Okay, back to ledge we go. That neutral air dodge. I wonder when Wrath is going to get a big punish off that. Oh, because right wow. now keep it's wondering. Fatality. They keep wondering. Fatality, the right knee at the right time. And this is boiling over to what I got to imagine is going to be a game five. Barring some crazy comeback from Wrath. Oh, and can you make it back? No, now it's a directional air dodge there. So, still up an entire stock. Fatality had the three to one. Racking up so much damage, trying to use the reverse Falcon dive there to catch that low recovery. But Wrath, with that awareness, going to navigate around that and pick up a quick 43. Almost gets that falling up here. That would have been a sick extension. Ooh. Yeah, at this point, if you're Fatality, you can get, you can trade as much as you want here. David off stage. We've seen Wrath turn things around in big ways off stage. Okay, forward smash. Oh, oh and no, a okay. deep back air. Again, that Sonic back air is so active. 100%. We've seen the Fatality get a lot off having Sonic in disadvantage, but that time, Wrath able to return the favor, really give himself an opportunity at stealing back this fourth game. Incredibly close. Okay, trying to catch the jump with the up air there. Sour hit of the dash attack. Man, and I, I don't know. It, Wrath might be able to close this out. Oh, the back end oh, the and the reversal off the stomp. Wrath put it all on that edge guard and barely missed. Fatality was able to go up and over and return the favor. Put some stank on that there right now, baby. Sending us swiftly into game five. One of these two Georgia OGs. Going to take another step and maybe capturing a Momo Count title. But definitely making each other work for it, man. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I would love to see both of these players go into day three so they could all have that finalist medal. If only, man. If only, if only. But only one can prevail here. Fatality bringing out all the works. The game five stomp. All right, where it is. I mean, this is so huge for Fatality. You have to start off the right way. And I don't even necessarily mean taking the first stock. But you can't fall too far behind. Okay, there's a charge going over. And it, there's so much respect on these spin dashes and spin charge just because spin dash has that intangibility on the hop-up. So just one of the best anti-airs in the game, and yep. you get so much damage out of it. So you, you're going to see a lot of players either completely falling back and letting the Sonic player cancel out, or they try to go over it but not in the way of it, right? Oh, man. Man, and look at this. I don't know if you want Game 5 to start off like this. If you're a Fatality fan, already at 124% for Falcon. Offstage scenario here, and you've racked up so much damage. One, one spin dash conversion into a fair is going to do it, but Fatality does have the rage locked and loaded. 
Lock load, man, but can he explode? Can he find the opening or create it to really make it count? Yeah, sometimes against Sonic, you have to will your openings into existence. It'd be so tough to get started against this character. The spring, but great navigation coming out from Fatality. Trying to get the dash grab and goes deep for that side B. Oh, man, Ooh. what a back air. Breaking the ankles of Fatality and breaking that first stock open. All these trades at this point going to be in favor of Wrath. You have such an amazing lead. And I'll tell you right now, Wrath plays with the lead. He just is a very comfortable position for Wrath, right? A hundred percent, bro. This is kind of like where he wants to be, where he feels like he can excel in oh, fatality. No, not like Head this. going down and maybe with it, his chances of making it a little deeper in this bracket because that is not what you want to see right now, especially if you're rooting for him. Yeah, this, that's a, that is such a tough draw, and I believe the winner of this is going to go up against Jazo. Yeah. Winner of this yeah. goes against Jazo to, uh, to get in the top eight, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. still a lot on the line. Okay, there's the forward air. Going for the deep edge guard, just sending the spring down. Man, and this is, this is tough. Yeah. Fatality is going to need some miracles, some zero to deaths, with a side of SDs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stars have to align here. A full course miracle dinner is what Fatality is going to need, and I'm not sure it's going to come to pass, man. Yeah, I don't even know if he's going to get to the appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, kudos to him. Put up a heck of a fight, no doubt about that. But Not till. Man, that man. game five can either make or break it. Right now, seeing a lot of breaking. Try to use the Falcon Kick to interrupt, but there's the up smash. That should do the trick, and Wrath booking his way into the next match, which is a top eight qualifier with the three stock on game five. Unfortunate SD for Fatality, though. Unforge. So we're going to get Wrath versus Jazo, and that will be a top eight qualifier for the loser side here. And what was the other Amazon. one? Wasn't there one more? Yes, there was. Chunky Kong versus Cosmos. So those are the two left for the top eight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got our next matches. And then there's also Ananthema versus DJ Don. So we got a bunch of great matches coming up for you guys here. Momocon 2023. We are trying to find out the eight players that are going to be the top eight finalists for day three for tomorrow. They're going to be playing on the big stage right over to the next hall. It's going to be exciting. Dang, they got the trophy over here too, man. Yeah, I was going to say, has anybody seen this trophy? Are they allowed to show the trophy? Let's show it. Is that a real GameCube controller? It's a pretty cool trophy, right, chat? Shouts to Haz, man. Oh, yeah. Wow. 